It's the off-season. And here, under the shadow of a town with a view, I ate the single best thing I've ever bought in Europe. Crusty but fluffy, and laden with tangy mayonnaise and brimming with delicious ham and salad. It tasted like years of historic honing. A history of refinement. The off-season is a traveller's secret weapon. No crowds, no noise, just people living their lives. After all, I'm not here chasing good weather. This town is seriously old. We're in, uh, well, in the Nice sort of area. Flew into Nice Airport. And um, just admiring all the, uh, all the autumn colours. Come in November, it's a bit of the off season. And it's just breathtaking. Green is like a long time of the year, but gold and red and brown and even patches of little green. It's only like this every once in a while. What a beautiful place. And they know how to capitalize. On that beauty, towns of the Riviera climb and build with the past instead of over it. To see proof, one just needs to look up. Details that grow and a past that lingers. The vegetables. It was everything I've come to expect of a European city. The herbs and spices. Diverse and delicious. But above all else, it was the cheese. The cheese is so inspiring. You've got to jostle for position to get your cheese. It's sort of like buying stocks on Wall Street, but cheese edition. Roquefort and Emmental. Nothing too adventurous, but plans were brewing. I have something of a point to prove. Food is everywhere. Up here on this uh, hill over Cannes and uh, free roast me. That's gonna go in some food. Yeah, so the streets are like super empty. The main parts of town are pretty busy. Can only imagine what this goes like when it's uh, peak season. Got all these food venues here on the waterfront. And the smell wafting off is incredible. But never trust food with a view. Migrating from Khan to Antibes for a feast of crepes. This duck and cheese crepe was absolutely incredible, as was this crepe and that crepe and that crepe too. But the sun was setting and there was more to acquire. It's really, really windy. I had a final point to prove, the supermarket. Nothing big, just a local one. But with the juiciest and plumpest and sweetest vegetables I've ever seen in a supermarket. Access to good food really does seem to be everywhere, and realistically, the hardest thing I had to deal with was reigning in the desire to buy absolutely everything, and not computing that le sac means bag. The person at the checkout was very forgiving. Or at least more forgiving than the knife available at the Airbnb. This kitchen is very well equipped in nearly every metric, but Bread knives are still for bread. Oh. 
Oh, no. Ow. So it's a bit late getting home as per usual and basically I just started cooking before I was actually explaining what the hell we're doing. So we're going to make something sort of inspired by Ratatouille, the actual original dish, not the movie, even though I love the movie, because we're in Nice, which is where it apparently originated. So I'm sort of making my own sort of take on it, uh, adding a few little twists and things to it. but. Part of that is going to be with um, we've got some lovely slices of um, thick boy slices of the brioche bread. I'm going to make just a brioche um, blue cheese Roquefort cheese. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And um, Emmental cheese toasties to get a bit of a cheesy dippage in with that tomatoey, slightly peachy goodness. Yes, you heard me right. I just said peach. So we're going to be using this uh, peach juice to uh, deglaze the vegetables that are currently in there. I'm hoping that it'll give it like a unique sort of sweetness, a little bit of autumnal fruits to sort of match what's going on around here with the leaves. Stuff, as you can see, tastes pretty good because I've managed to sort of sink half the bottle already. So it's got to go in before I manage to sink it all. Colour is flavour. <laughs> golden stage so it comes off and that lid will go on top of that sandwich the whole thing will get toasted and will be eaten with that Temperamental. So this is the uh, Ratatouille-esque uh, dinner I've made. Nice sort of syrupy tomato -y. Slightly peachy sauce. There's a little hint of orange on top. It works really nicely, sort of playing on the uh, fruitiness of a tomato as opposed to the slight vegetable nature of it. But this is the nicest part. The beautiful Emmental and blue cheese um, toasty. Just going to get that on top. Now that really, really works. That is autumn in a bowl. Let's get it out of the way. Nice is well beyond the pun it lends itself to. It gave me a hot day in November. So while you're there, I recommend climbing up Castle Hill to get a view of the city and its Mediterranean outlook. Then, go crisscross the streets on a frankly easy hunt for great food and general Frenchness. But it's also close to another country. Pretty impressive, pretty impressive. Holy moly. Talk about cramming it all in. I think just over my shoulder here. Up to see the Monte Carlo Casino. Won't be spending any money. Not a gambling man. And I've just spent uh, 
a good six euros on a very, very poor cafe latte. Money doesn't always buy taste, but it sure buys a bloody nice building. You need to leave a bit of strength. This one is slightly more mellow, which makes it easier to cut. These towns, whether deliberately or inadvertently, have mastered the art of light and dark. As we traverse the hills, popping into cute village after cute village, the sun would fade, and the mastery would reveal itself. Suddenly, you're in a different town. The mood changes. The earth has turned, and without you moving, you've traveled to a mysterious and magically tungsten place. It feels cold and warm at the same time, and then all at once, I'm enveloped by an overwhelming feeling of, I don't want to leave. So, I walk with my camera down the main street of Le Col Salut, where I am staying, trying to capture a feeling, trying to figure out a way to stay or move here. But then the realization dawns on me. Although wherever I end up will never have this finesse, the fact that I can't have this is what makes it special.